Welcome to the Sample Space Probability Calculator for MassCelebrity.com. Type in Sample Space. So we actually have three lessons, but the one you're most likely going to use is the Sample Space Probability. Given a Sample Space S and a set of events E, this calculates the probability of the event set occurring. So we can click this link here. And this is our calculator. So here's your actual sample space. That's the set of all items that could ever possibly happen. And here's your event set. So you separate each item by a comma. Now these don't have to be numbers. They could be letters. They could be a combination of letters and numbers. So we'll go ahead and hit calculate probability. So we're going to find out the probability of any of these items happening in the sample space set. So we've got that in red and then your your particular set in blue. So we see that there's three occurrences of three, two occurrences of five, one occurrence of seven, none of nine, none of eleven, and none of thirteen. So what it does is it adds up all the occurrences and then it divides by the number of items in your sample space which in this case is 10. If the fraction can be simplified, which in this case it can, we link to our GCF calculator. I'll open this very quickly. We've actually got another video on this. So it determines that the greatest common factor of 6 and 10 is 2. So as you can see, we divided 6 and 10 by 2 and we get 3 fifths. Therefore, the probability is 0 0.6 or 3 out of 5. We show both fraction and decimals. I'll go ahead and run one more problem here. I'll do letters this time. We'll do so go ahead and calculate the probability. <clears throat> so this time we got 12 items in our sample space. We want to determine the probability that these four items fall in there. So again, we go through our each item in the set one by one. There's three A's, three B's, two F's, and two D's. Therefore, we have 10 out of 12. Again, we use our greatest common factor calculator, which says that 2 is the greatest common factor of 10 and 12, which reduces us down to 5, 6 or 0 0.833 repeating in a decimal. So the calculator is pretty simple. Like I said, you separate each item by a comma. We've also got a quiz generator for this lesson. For more information on that, please visit the video link under the quizzes folder. If you've got any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.